When a municipality or enterprise needs to cover outdoor spaces with CCTV cameras, connectivity is always an issue. These cameras often have high definition video, which requires a lot of streaming capacity. However, running fiber is not only cost prohibitive, but it takes time and it's disruptive. When you have a situation where electricity is available, as shown here with light bulbs, wireless is often the best answer. Let's take a look at how that would work. A fixed wireless access point is placed at the fiber endpoint, which could be on the side of a building. Additional fixed wireless access points are then placed at each of the light poles where cameras need to be installed. That access point connects to the camera, providing both electricity and connectivity. The connectivity is the result of the wireless connection between the access point and the fiber drop. This is called point to point. Additional cameras and access points can also be linked together using point-to-multipoint topology. Once you have a wireless broadband network in place, it's simple to also add Wi-Fi access to those outdoor spaces. I'll now provide a high-level explanation of how that would work. Wi-Fi access points are added to the light pole and connected to the fixed wireless access point on the same pole. Those Wi-Fi access points can now provide guest or public Wi-Fi access, as well as connect IoT devices. The internet access to the Wi-Fi access points is provided by the fixed wireless network. Now, you might ask, why wouldn't I just use Wi-Fi to do all of this rather than using two different technologies? Wouldn't that be easier? Well, it depends on the length of the connections. Wi-Fi can't reach nearly as far as fixed wireless, but it also depends on number of Wi-Fi devices that are typically in the area. Let me explain. Let's say you were deploying security cameras for a festival or concert. You can expect a lot of people in the area with Wi-Fi enabled devices sharing their experience with others. This means that the security cameras and the Wi-Fi devices are all sharing the same spectrum, which limits the capacity for all devices. In addition, when you have a lot of Wi-Fi devices, they tend to interfere with each other. You can avoid this situation by putting the cameras on their own dedicated wireless network. It eliminates interference and adds capacity to the network. Finally, there's one more added benefit of using fixed wireless to connect your outdoor cameras. In campus environments where the fiber between buildings is at capacity, you can add additional capacity using that same wireless network. Simply add a wireless access point to the building to establish a high-speed connection back to the location of your fiber endpoint. For more information, please visit cambiumnetworks.com.